Matthew 5.19 gives us two examples of things that are pretty interesting in Greek. One is the meaning of a word, and the other is what happens when Greek has a parallel structure and how it so freely drops words out of the second half of that particular structure. We're going to look at Matthew 5.19, and it says, Therefore, if anyone looses or breaks one of the commandments of these of the least, in other words, one of the least of these commandments, and teaches hutos people, we'll come back to the hutos, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches, doesn't teach what? (laughs) This person will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So the first thing I wanted to look at is hutos. And the interesting thing about hutos is it can look two different directions. It can look backwards or it can look forward. Now in this one, context tells you clearly that it's looking backwards. And that's why it has the meaning in this way or thus or so. So the idea is that whoever relaxes one of these commandments and teaches people In the same way, in other words, teaches people to loose, to break the least of the commandments. So it's an interesting thing with hutos. You have to look at it contextually and ask, is it pointing backwards or it's pointing forward? In order to see the issue with parallelism, it's easiest to see the passage phrase. So here it is. And it goes, therefore, whoever looses and teaches will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. So whoever looses one of these, least of these commandments and teaches people to do the same. But whoever does and teaches, well, doesn't teach what? Well, this is where words have been dropped out because it's unnecessary because of the parallel construction. Does what? Does the least of these commandments and teaches people to do the same. So you can't do that in English. You can't drop off this many words in English, but in Greek, it's perfectly acceptable. Here's the CSB, and they say, but whoever does and teaches these commandments, so they're bringing that forward from the first half of the sentence, totally legitimate translation. NIV, whoever practices and teaches these commandments, again, great. The Net Bible, whoever obeys them and teaches others to do so. So all totally acceptable ways to translate the passage. But you simply can't leave these two verbs without something following it. And by the way, the other thing this illustrates is how often in Greek you'll have a long clause, same would be up here, and that technically is the subject of the verb. Whoever does all this will be called, and whoever does all this will be called. But what you have in the second half is very typical where you have this clause that's the subject of the verb and then it's repeated in the demonstrative. Whoever does and teaches this person will be called great. You see this a lot in John, but you can see it elsewhere as well.